Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take footage that looks like this from your Mini 3 Pro and turn it to look something like this. Let's go ahead and get started. What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to show you how to take your Mini 3 Pro, which is a great drone, does a lot of great footage, uh, but there's always a way to make it better and that's by installing some ND filters. These are basically sunglasses for your drone that allow you to uh, bring down your exposure, your shutter speed. So let's go ahead and cut over to the drone and I'll show you how to install these bad boys. This is really easy to do. Now you'll notice on here, I don't actually have the factory cover. Um, when I purchase a set of ND filters like these, I always try to get a UV one as well, just because the UV will cut uh, kind of through debris in the air, make the video a little bit more clear without strengthening or weakening like the shade or the, you know, you don't have to make adjustments to the shutter speed or anything like that. So I like to put one of those on there just because the factory one, which I have right here, you can see if the camera decides to focus is there's no, there's no piece of glass. And so this just tells you what your aperture is. Um, and your equivalent of your focal length, but that's about it. It doesn't actually protect the camera lens or the camera, camera glass or anything like that. So what I like to do is just when I'm not using an ND filter like these, I like to put on one of these UV filters to help protect that um, and keep it nice. So this is really easy to do. Always have yourself a lens cloth in case you need to wipe down the ND filter or whatever filter it is that you're removing or installing. All we're gonna do is you're gonna grab your camera on the top and bottom, and then you're gonna grab the filter on the left and right hand side. And all you're gonna do is just turn it counterclockwise just a few degrees until you feel that snap. And once you feel that, you can pull it straight away from the camera and you removed the filter. Now installing a filter is exactly the opposite of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose, we'll just grab one of these out of the case. Let's just go ahead and grab the, we'll do the ND32PL. These are ND filters plus polarizers, which is what the PL is. These make your colors pop just a little bit more. So again, grab on either side top and bottom of your camera and you're going to line up the little pins or whatever it's hard to see on the camera here but you're going to line up the pins and all you're going to do is just twist clockwise just a few degrees you'll feel the snap and your ND filter is now installed. So there you have it, really easy to do and one of the best accessories that you could probably take with you uh, to make sure that your footage looks as great as it can. And uh, I'll link this exact product down below. These are the free wells. These are the ND filters plus also the uh, polarizing. So the polarizing will make your colors pop a little bit more. And uh, so far I haven't noticed anything weird with them. I haven't noticed any like crisscross patterns or anything like that. So, so far I highly recommend the Freewell uh, lenses. That is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you got something out of it, you guys know what to do. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for what you guys have done. And we will see you guys on the next video. Peace.